Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to For the Record, hashtag TogetherFTR, and I just want to give a big thanks to all the sponsors of our podcast, and the first sponsor I'll be thanking today is Havana Clean of the Tri-State. Havana Clean of the Tri-State provides essential indoor air quality services to residential and commercial customers. This includes mold removal, water damage, dryer vent cleaning, and air duct cleaning. This wonderful establishment is ran by Pam and Joel Dooley. You can give them a call at 606-331-5001, and they're doing free estimates all day, so make sure to get in contact with them. And if you're on Facebook, be sure to slide over to their page at Advanta Clean of the Tri-State. Give them a like and tell them Nugs B sent you, and I really appreciate it. Second sponsor of the day is a good friend of mine. His name is Wyatt Freeman. You can check him out on Facebook. He is one of the best sculptors I know. Uh, Really, really great guy. He's doing commission work for a very reasonable price. And he's also one of the main artists in the comic book I'm currently working on. So be sure to give him a shout on Facebook. And you spell his name W-Y-A-T-T. F-R-E-E-M-A-N. And last but not least for our sponsors of the day, got to give a big shout out to my dude nephew over at Few Apparel, holding it down for all your merchandise needs. So if you need shirts or hoodies or anything of that sort, be sure to go check out Few Apparel on Instagram and Facebook. Be sure to message him and let him know that Nugs B sent you. So that wraps it up for all of our sponsors of the day. Let's get this episode started. What's up, everybody? You listening to For the Record with your host Nugs B? Uh, it's for the record, son. Yeah, yeah. It's for the. It's for the record. I said. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Nugs B coming to you with episode 42 for the record, baby. You already know. I'm joined by Bug. You know we in here cooling, just catching up, talking about old times as usual, man. Always blessed. It's a blessed day. And as usual, we're going to start it with entertainment history for this episode, my friends. Oh, yeah. On this day in 1993, Michael Jackson is awarded a patent for the system that allows him to lean in unnatural angles during performances of Smooth Criminal. To recreate the video on stage, Jackson and his dancers wore special shoes that they could insert into pegs set up on stage Mm -hmm. for the famous lean. I thought that was really cool. Anybody can do that? Show your hands because... I try to do it, fell on my face. Well, like I said, it's the certain <laughs> shoes. It shows the build. It's like a certain dynamics of the shoes to actually give you that unnatural lean. You know, so I it's, mean, not the same. It's, it's kind of a, it's kind of like props almost. Right, you know? right, like right. It's like it's like a. Hey, gimmick. get them props, everybody, because if you want to mean, if you want to lean like Michael real. Jackson, be that real dude for real. You will be on it. I mean, that is the real dude, right real there. Real deal, son. R.I.P. to Michael Jackson, dude. And I'm like, sad he gone. God, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, Michael Jackson is one of those guys that you can put on his music, and I don't care how dull you are, you're probably gonna dance. Or how tough you are. Yeah, you're probably gonna I dance. I don't care a how bit. thug nasty you are, you <laughs> trap music, whatever, you gonna smooth tap your criminal. Foot. You gonna tap your foot. Smooth criminal. You gonna be on it. Oh man, Dirty Diana is probably one of my favorite songs. To be honest, that I would say, video is yeah, sick. Dirty Diana, and then I will say, uh, I gotta say, uh, rock with you, rock my rock world. With, oh, you, oh, rock with you is good too. But rock my yeah. world is good too. And another one I'll say is, uh, you are Genius. not alone. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, he was talking. God. My dad told me. So good. Look, my dad told me the history of that song. He was actually singing about his pet rat. Really? Yes. I didn't even know that's, that. That's, that's facts right there. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> he that was wild, singing about man. his pet rat. Pet rat, son. Uh, on this day in 2010, <laughs> Keith Richards releases his autobiography, Life. His drug use is a big topic. Here's a quote. I loved a good high. And if you stay up, you get the songs that everyone else misses because they're asleep. Ooh. And that sounds like everyday business <laughs> with me. Ca- if you are casual asleep during the day. Speed doing. You know, right. just casual drug, right. uh, you know, intoxication. You right. Know? If you ain't out <laughs> doing your do. I'm telling you, You son. ain't going to make no money in that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. On this day in 1970, Elton John releases Your Song, which becomes his first hit. God, I love Elton John. Love Elton John, dude. I've heard a few songs, you know what I'm saying? Love him. I got some facts of the day as well, my friends. Uh, Billy goats urinate on their own heads to smell more attractive to females. <laughs> you almost choked the baby <laughs> truck on my water. <laughs> From their pheromones. They spray it on their own heads. Like, yeah, let's just get in here, bro. I'm a little pee-pee never oh. hurt nobody. <laughs> That's only, I thought I was only hurt on jellyfish when you get For stung real, by jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, man. I didn't know. Yeah. That that's what they Billy doing. goats, man. Crazy. Hey, you learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> Walter Frederick Morrison invented the Frisbee in 1948, which was originally called the Pluto Platter. He was hmm. cremated and made into a Frisbee after he died. Wow. How crazy is that? How many dude? Frisbees was he made in? Believe that. <laughs> hey, I How threw many? so much. <laughs> I don't know if I'm such a dead real. body or not. Yeah. I'm going to just insane. toss it some. Believe that. And it's ashes. I'm so <laughs> sorry for the family. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And then the next thing we were talking about is actually relevant to your life, actually. Uh, okay. Any adult human below the height of 4'10", Damn. Uh, 100, you know. 147 centimeters is considered a dwarf slash small person. Okay, are we going so to talk I'm about sorry. the weight, though? Are we talking I don't about know weight? if the weight was an actual, like, thing. Like, I think that, I don't know, I don't know if the weight, like, I don't think that has anything to do with it. It might, because I think I'm sure I'm... Shy. It says most dwarves under one uh, one hundred five. Like I, I don't height, think average, I can. Heavy you can weigh like. It says like the biggest dwarves weigh like one hundred and sixty <laughs> to two twenty. So like we're talking some big dwarves. We're talking like that's Gimli. Heavy. That's heavy. Yeah, we're talking like the Hobbit at this point. Like all right. those dwarves, like Just some heavy. big axe wielding, you know, <laughs> hairy individuals. Just you know? rolling barrels. Believe that. <laughs> That's for real, dude. Well, but I'm I didn't proportion, know. everybody. Yeah. I'm proportion. <laughs> my I arms have, match down yeah. to my hips, you know? All that. You That's know what I'm funny. saying? I'm very, it, look, my head ain't big, nothing like that. Yeah. I'm, I rock the whole body, but I'm four nine and a half. <laughs> I'm under the stipulations of both dwarf. a midget and yeah, a dwarf. Yeah, straight up. And it's so crazy because I, I thought there was a difference. I thought the dwarves were I thought so too. like... Uh, were TV. smaller than um, <laughs> small people. <laughs> not the case. I guess midgets are just out here the same as dwarves, bro. And wow. I know it's not right to say midget. I'm sorry uh, if anybody gets offended, but hey, it is what it is, he's, bro. He's saying that about me. It is what it is, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, Whatever. Also, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> I know. I'm a little, I got shot twice in the ribs, y'all. Um, oh god! I'm gonna get them back though. I'm I'm patching the wounds oh, right god. now. I'm, pot- I'm patching. The Anyways, uh, so next <laughs> I got some recommendations for you guys today. Uh, I got some films I'm gonna recommend first. Uh, the first one is Yellowstone. These are all TV shows, by the way. Uh, Yellowstone is starring Kevin Costner. If you haven't watched it yet, super awesome show. I have not, dude. It's good. You gotta check it out for sure. Sounds um, like some white people stuff. It right is there. some white people stuff. It's very cowboyish, you know. It's uh, it's set in Montana, where all the white people <laughs> con- congregate. I guess it'll be the last on my list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll uh, be at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peaky Blinders just came out with a new season. For those of you who haven't watched it, super great. Love it. I blew through the last season. I'm kind of upset. I wish I would have kind of, you know, been conservative <laughs> about it, but I just blew Took right through it. Yeah, I, I didn't take my time at all. Like just phew, right took. through it. Uh, the last uh, the last episode of Wu-Tang and American Saga just came out. I haven't watched it yet, but I've watched the rest of it. It's a Hulu original. If you guys haven't checked it out, Dave East plays Method Man. 
Super dope oh, show. I'm try that out. It's good, dude. I haven't tried that. It's real good, man. You need to check it out. Uh, ten episodes. They're all out now. The last one just dropped uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, something like that. How, have you tried the rhythm and flow? Oh yeah, I watched show. it all. Yeah, well, I haven't watched uh, the three oh, new episodes that just got released. Reading it? Uh, yeah, already, the last three. I don't want to spoil none yeah. for you because I watched. Well, them. I already know. I, I I got an idea who's gonna win. So who won for you? Well, in the th- it's gonna be three. It's gonna be between Flawless, London B, or D Smoke. D Whoa. Smoke is fire. Oh, bro. D Smoke is my his dude. California uh, flow, dude. That video was sick. Well, bro. what I'm just can I spill the beans to you? Please don't. Please let me watch it. Let me uh, <laughs> let me let me earn this one. Let me earn this one, bro. Because I want to watch it for you, real. I'll let you earn it, but dude, it looks you're so... gonna be satisfied either way. Oh yeah, because all all three of the uh, ones I just named are the best. I'll just let you know. All performances was nice. Really nice. Heck yeah, all dude. nice. I'm pumped. I mean, when they got to the final four. They did their thing. For sure. And I hope that that does reaches out Does the white guy make it? Sam that. be yourself. Does he make it to the four? I'm sorry. He doesn't. Ah, he was dope, though, dude. He like, was he dope. was actually pretty good. He was good. dope, but they, like they said. He didn't that have he, the swag. He didn't he have the didn't, identity. Yeah, like, he, he wasn't true to himself. Yeah, he wasn't he keeping said, authentic. He said, Sam, be yourself. That was your name. But, bruh, you wasn't being yourself. Yeah, you have to relax. Real. You was yeah. that with a tense. I mean, you had the flow and everything, but you, you a little tense, bro. You got to relax. <laughs> I hope T.I. was getting critical on him, bro. He was like, not just him, but I mean, like, in general, I mean, as a judge, he was killing it, dude. Like, I was impressed on how I like, mean, critical he was. I like that, though. Mm-hmm. I like that. Be straight up. We adults. We in a competition. This is true. Tell me what the, the hell is going on. For real. And tell me what I need to do right from wrong. No lie, dude. Because that's the only way you can work. That's Absolutely. The only way you Constructive can get criticism better. is how you grow. Hey, as guys, a human, it, as an artist, in whatever. World, in the world, you're either going to get a yes or no. So you get a if you get them yeses, take it. For real. And all the criticism you can get. If you get no, take it. It is what it is. Because you take have to work a, on that. Yep, it's a take, lesson in yeah, life. Take that. It, it doesn't have to be no bad negative energy. Mm-hmm. Don't take that at all. It's funny that you say that because it's actually on my recommendation my recommendation list. Rhythm and flow. I was gonna, oh, rec- I was yeah. gonna recommend I everybody mean, to check I've it out. I've been watching that show. I'm keeping it's it good. up. It's good. It's good, dude. It's actually good. Well, it's I'm over just, now, but like I'm sure they'll start another season soon or whatever next honestly, year. Honestly, Taylor, if you want to, you can get on that. Rhythm and flow, That's, dude. You're like the twentieth person to say that, but hear me out, okay? So I talked to a couple few people, and they were like, "Look, dude, you should go try this. Like, you're better than half these people." Yes, I realize I'm better than most of these people. But it's the process. They don't understand the competition. Like, they think that just showing the show, mm-hmm. what they see on TV is that long they give them a, a test route. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean. You have to be ready for it, and I feel yeah. like you're ready. Oh, I'm ready but for sure. I feel like you also. Excuse me, Michael, close to you. Close to you. I feel you're like good. out the at the same time, as for you to be my best friend, mm-hmm. you got to be able to freestyle on the rip. Oh, I can freestyle on the rip. Let's get it then. You mean to freestyle right now? Yeah, let's put a beat on. Look right at now. you. I don't even know if I can get it in the headphones. Let me see. Let's get it. We going to do here's a my, little here, here, freestyle, a little cypher thing. right now, because I'm going to try look. it. <laughs> I'm going to try it, too. Look, listen, I've been on it in a while. Look, hear me out. Hear me out. The freestyle part of what they're doing, that wasn't really a big thing. My whole thing is I can freestyle off the jump, but it's not going to be great, but it'll be it'll make sense. And here's, Nothing's going to be great on a freestyle. No, no, no. Come on now. And, and here, you, you're and here, doing whatever I, you see. And I used to freestyle all the time. You already know. We used to freestyle all the time. That's how but we I, started, Exactly. Baby. But I quit doing it because it just it just wasn't really in the cards at the time. And also, my thing about rhythm and flow is they're biased, bro. A lot of those people made it through because they liked the way they looked. <laughs> yeah. They liked the way they acted. Yeah. They liked the way their persona. Everything about them. It wasn't about their skill. There were so many people that messed up that made it through. Yeah, it was, they probably that was shouldn't disappointing have. that to me because I know if I was a judge, if I'm a judge and you mess up in a performance, well, mess up I don't is, care. is a part of the process. I well, get it. I get that it too. It depends on how bad you mess yeah, up. I'm this. just saying I get that too. Everybody messes up, but in a competition like that where you're deleting people multiple at a time, mm-hmm. um, you're there for to be your best and nothing but the best. For real. So... You have to be a grown adult and understand that if you messed up because it's your own song, yeah, you out of there. Yeah, it I'm should sorry. be like that. You're it's it's your own show, your own words. How can you mess up your own words? I'm gonna be let let's be honest right now. I'm gonna be super clear. I've definitely messed up my lyrics before. Definitely, I mean, it's happened. I have a song that 
my words were messed up. You can hear it. Yeah, at, for real. At that, at that, at that. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude. But I've messed girls up. Girls love I have. It. I, I got I got plenty of babies that uh love me. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make that specific. Um <laughs> I have to stop what I'm saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the recommendations, my friends. <laughs> The last anyway, two, yeah. the last two I got is the Last Kingdom and uh, Titans, which is based off of Teen Titans. It's a live action version, super dope. Definitely check that out. New episode just came out Friday, super awesome. You said it's live, live action. It's okay. like real people, I'm you have to know. Check that out. Oh, yeah. dude, it's good. Yeah, I'm it check it that out. really is good. Um, and then I got some music I'm gonna recommend. Uh, first band I'm gonna recommend is Pigeons Playing Ping Pong. For those of you who have not <laughs> heard them. The name is crazy, but they're I super spit awesome. All my water on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> they're super awesome. Uh, <laughs> that was almost bad right there. <laughs> second person I'm going to recommend is Tyler Childers. For those of you who haven't heard, he's super dope. Really awesome. Love him. Uh, third music I'm going to recommend today is Beth Hart. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard her, she is super awesome. She, she, I mean, she's been on tour a million times. I think she's on tour right now. You can probably pick up some tickets for pretty cheap. Uh, super great, love her. One of my favorite female songwriters. You know, she's a great well, songwriter. Can you, honestly, I'm sorry, but can you uh, play a song for me? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want our episode to get pulled. I'll play it after the episode because okay. if you play stuff like that, like other people have done, like on uh, you know, videos and stuff, they mute your video on okay. Facebook yeah, and yeah, they can right. pull it on it's YouTube. It's like almost copyright. It is to a degree. Even if you're like, hey, I don't own this, they're like, we don't care. You tried to play it, so eh, you're done. So I, you know, I don't want, I don't want it to get pulled. You know what I mean? No problem. But so I'll play it afterwards. What, I'll yeah, play it afterwards we'll, we'll for play sure. That and Absolutely. I'll let, and that's why, I, that way, the next episode, I can let y'all know. Barry, she's pretty dope. Go ahead and get it she's if I dope. like it. I'm, I look, you know I'm telling you, you look, she's dope. You're gonna like her. I'm telling you. Uh, so the next thing I want to get into is actually I, I got a paper here I'm going to read off to you guys. Uh, Charisma Salon and Spa are um, <laughs> doing a thing sorry. today. <laughs> And, uh, well, it's not today, actually. It's going to be from, when is the dates here? We got, let's see. It's going to be until December 13th. And uh, once again, we have the opportunity to be a blessing to someone else. Cash Express invites you. Actually, I think Charisma and Salon Spa are actually just helping Cash Express. So it's like a team effort, like a duo effort. So super cool either way. I'm all about charity and fundraisers. Everybody be a team player. Don't try to be too many chiefs. In a village, you too know, many chiefs, not enough Indians, man. Yeah, That's exactly. for sure. You need a lot of Indians. People don't understand that you need some team workers, players. man. You need workers. If you guys realize that you be team player, you get a lot of stuff accomplished. This is very true. Don't and not worry everybody about that. can be a, a chief, you know. Like not trying to be mean, but yeah, some it's people not are just being not built cocky for it. either. Just yeah. don't try to be something that you're not. <laughs> I mean, is simple very and true. plain. Straight I'm up. not. I've never went to positions because. I said, look, I I know I'm strong for this, but I'm not strong for that. Knowing your weaknesses and strengths is a big part of If you're business. not ready, just say you ain't ready. I for mean, real? you're not weak or too extra weak or nothing like that. Whatever they try to label you as, mm-hmm. you are your own person. Absolutely. You know your strength. You know what your weaknesses are. You should just do what you need and feel what's comfortable. For sure. So in this event, you know, it's pretty much, you know, uh, what she's getting at is like, you know, you need to really pay attention to your surroundings and be aware of the community and be aware of your lane almost, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, no, you're lane. No, you're lane. You know, and this thing is, uh, you know, it's an annual toy and coat drive for children. Uh, like I said, sponsored by Cash Express. Uh, we will be pairing up with local community businesses to help distribute uh, donations to families in need this year. We will be accepting toys, coats, and non-perishable food items in many drop-off locations in the area. So I guess it's not just Christmas Lawn Spa. I guess it's a bunch of different places. Yeah, the Cash just, Express. It's simple like the Christmas things that you yeah. go and just Absolutely. send off stuff. Toys, clothes, and you can drop these at Christmas Lawn Spa. Like I said, that's on uh, Winchester Avenue right across from Taco Bell. Uh, and yeah, we uh, they're asking that all donations are received by December 13th in order to have them delivered in time for Christmas. Hey, you guys got plenty of time. Absolutely, plenty of time. Plenty of time. You can months. food, you know, corn, green beans, beans, wh- whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, the, a lot of people. Even mixed vegetables absolutely. or mixed, vi- mixed fruit. Just yeah. bring some, just some, for some, real. somebody to eat. 
and uh, says we are asking this school to help with this. Uh, we're asking the schools to help with this, and are going to provide a pizza party to the class in each grade that collects the most. The principal decides the winning class. Thank you so much for your support and the very important effort to bless our community. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's it, it's a real great cause. You guys need to check out. Uh, like I said, you can drop anything you have down at Christmas Lawn and Spa. It's on Winchester Avenue, right across from Taco Bell. Yeah, so yeah. definitely check that out, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I've also got another thing uh, that my uh, my guy Tony Murphy had put me on to. He's doing for his brother, actually, uh, who recently passed away unexpectedly. And uh, it's going to be uh, – let me see here for sure. Oh, yeah, the Jared Murphy uh, Thanksgiving Food Challenge, uh, Young okay. Brillionaires Presents. And that's going to be now accepting canned food and non-perishable items October 1st through November 23rd. So it's, it's, so it's not a competition. It's oh, a no, no, challenge. no. This is it's just – Whoever can bring the most canned foods, the most it, just stuff that you can bring. It says it, there actually is a, uh, you know, it's going to be each city competes with one another to raise the most canned food and donations. So it kind of is a competition to a degree, but we're definitely, he's trying Whatever to just feed is, yeah. people in Ironton. You know, I think he's going to uh, hold the, um, the uh, whenever they cook everything, they're going to hold it in Ironton and they're just going to pass out plates to anybody who wants to come. Hey, that's that's a sweet thing. To do oh, it's great. Real. It's I great mean, for the community, man. I mean, I think they should do that more in Ashland, too, so we can have a lot less you would think, man. homeless people here. I mean, starving. Just hungry. It's not more that they're homeless. If A lot of people make their own issues if they're homeless. But if they're just really hungry, tell me. I'll feed you. For real. You know, get your McChicken, and, and, son. I'll get you a meal. I'll get you whatever yeah. you want if you're legitimately I mean, hungry. I will. I'm not gonna give you no money. No, I'm not gonna. Give I'll no buy money. you food though. Because if I somebody made the mistake. Is, you know, I made the mistake of giving money out, and they use it for alcohol, alcohol. drugs. Just tell whatever. me the truth. Just yeah. tell me the truth. Hey, look, I'm I'm a couple dollars short on a beer. Yeah. Okay, I might give you a honest. dollar. You telling me the honest truth? But if you don't tell me, you trying to feed. You and your dog. Yeah. And you're trying to get dog food for the both of y'all. For real. Uh, and uh, <laughs> for, for that actual charity, there's going to be uh, the winner receives a trophy. So, like I said, the Jared Murphy uh, oh, yeah. food drive you guys is going on. Donate. Guys, so, donate. Yeah, for sure. Get with Tony Murphy on uh, Facebook and he'll let you know any other details I didn't go over, where you can drop food off, uh, so on and so forth. I mean, uh, it's only a know. couple cents a can. I mean, Absolutely. It ain't that bad. Whatever you, you mean, got left over in your cabinets, just send it over there. You know, yeah. try to get that reward. It, you know it, what I'm saying? Just try to do good for the people. It ain't really about winning nothing. It's just do for the people that's hungry out there and that really? actually need some food. Not about every, that everybody else that's on drugs or nothing, but just yeah. just actually do something. I mean, a good kindness of heart, it gets you a long way. That's for real, Every dude. day, it, it makes me feel better to do something nice every day. We need more people that are being kind and that are being giving to our communities so our communities can flourish through. It goes to the smallest of things of oh, just, yeah. you know, human interaction to economy. We got to love each other more. Yeah. You know, we, we just, we all hating each other and for no reason. It's, it's, I'm tired of using that word hate. Yeah. Uh, people in life should not use that word hate. Because you don't know when the next person is dying when you over there saying, I hate you, mm-hmm. and they die the next day. Literally. Uh, just say you strongly dislike them. That's yeah. that's less than saying you hate somebody. Don't take life for granted, man. No, don't, because you that's don't know sure. if you die tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We don't know if we're going to wake up in the morning. Yes. So take let's every just day is a all blessing. just love each other. Let's try to make this whole place better. Let's, let's try to make – let's start off with Ashland. Let's you would think that's that. where it starts. It starts in your community, yeah. and then you build around I'm it. I'm not and saying that's let's how you, go in the whole world. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But you build. That's how it, it starts with a community, and then you build around that, and then that that goes into your state, yep. and then it goes into your country, and then it yep. goes into the world. Like it's a it's a it's a uh, process. process. Yeah, it's yeah. a process that happens. That it takes starting with something very small, and it's difficult. And a lot of people are pessimistic, and they're like, "Yeah, it'll never happen." I'm negative, blah blah blah, and. You know, no faith in humanity or whatever. But. but y'all, listen, I mean, it really is something that's changed the world. So many people are killing themselves. So many people are dying. Yeah. Think it's about the numbers. With, Just think about the numbers. <laughs> I mean, it's getting too much in so many years or a year span. People are dying off. For real. Let's look at ourselves and actually accomplish what we want to do. We don't have to do special things and and I'm saying as if uh, not in degrees and stuff because it's mm-hmm. hard. It's hard doing that. Absolutely. But what I'm saying is 
just being your own person, being beautiful from the inside and out. You go ahead and you you tell somebody you're be- they're beautiful. Or you help somebody out. You help a you help an old lady or elder couple yeah. help with their stuff. You did a good deed that day. For Let's real. everybody do a good deed one day every day. Every day, man. And, and even, you I mean, push on. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. If everybody does it, it's like pay it forward. You know, if you pay it forward to everybody, and then the next People person change. pays it forward People and pays change. it forward, it's a ripple effect that creates great communities and flourishing communities. To be honest. You know, and it creates more business owners. It creates more. Yeah, I mean, if people, you gonna get a yes or no. Straight so up. if you go, if you if you try to help somebody and they say no, don't stress it. <laughs> help the next person. For don't real. worry about somebody saying no. They just end up being negative. Mm-hmm. Go to the positive person that's gonna say, yeah, I don't, I don't mind if you do that. Do that. And if even, the, <laughs> I can say, don't even take a no because sometimes yeah. you gotta push that on. People. You gotta push positivity you gotta on say, the people. You gotta say, hey, listen, I don't care if you say no i want to do this because of my own heart Mm -hmm. and you know and also people they look at it as like you know they got to videotape it and they got to be like right in front of everything like man come on just if you're going to do something like that i get videotaping it sometimes because the world needs to see more kind of things you know but like don't do it every single time man if you're going to spread the positivity just do it just yeah, do it when don't nobody's try to looking. Look for the clout. Exactly when nobody's looking, that's when you, the real character of people comes out. You know that's serious. I've had people say they watched me at work, and I've never met them in my life. Mm-hmm. They watch me. That's how it do goes. Do my man. job, and I'm just doing the same thing I do every day. Yep. Yeah. And I'm just waiting for somebody to tell me they can give me a job that's better <laughs> than Walmart. <laughs> but for real talk, I, I just that. do the same thing. I do I my, I that. handle my business. I help people out. I do what I do for my community and make somebody else smile because that makes me have a better day. Absolutely. I don't care what I'm going through. It's good for everybody's mental health to help others. It feels good to help other people. It really feels really good. It really does. It feels great to, like, know that you made an impact in somebody's life or you made an impact in somebody's day. It could be, you know, I made this person smile for 10 minutes or whatever. I made this person laugh for 10 minutes. It just feels good, man. It makes them feel good. Because you really don't know what they're going through. I mean— We've had friends kill themselves. I yeah. don't know if this was brought up in any other podcast or not, but we've had a, a person we went to school with mm-hmm. that just up and just, he killed himself, you know, and it's sad. Yeah. It was real sad. Uh, Pretty horrific. He didn't, he didn't really realize that he had a lot of people in his life Yeah. that really maintained with him and actually was down for him. Um, I've I've had... I, I, I spoke friends. on it a little bit. Uh, I didn't throw his name out there just because, like, you know, some people don't want, well, you know, don't, I, did, I didn't want to, wanna, yeah, I, did, I didn't really want to, like, throw his name out there. I don't know. I just felt weird about it because it's not really my place to speak on it. But no, I did, I, I spoke on it a little bit and just said that, you know, pretty much some anybody who's dealing with mental health issues, you need to seek help. Yeah, ask somebody. Go talk to somebody. I mean, write it down, draw it out, whatever yeah. you have to do. Go run it out. Yeah. Play a sport. And go, Work go out. Go just sweat it out. Just Therapy, whatever you have to do. Anything. Don't do that to yourself because you hurt so many people. I'm not knocking nobody that is worth of, uh, that wants to ever decide to kill himself. Like, yeah. I'm trying to get the semicolon because of suicide. Yeah. I mean, I've had too many friends it's horrific. And dude. let me re- re- let me say this louder. I have too many friends that have killed themselves over something that wasn't even strong real. enough to kill yourself yeah. over. Wasn't even real, dude. But I can't knock how they feel. Because we don't know. That's their feelings. Everybody I have feels my own different. thoughts. I have my own mind. But I know I just don't have the guts for it. Yeah. I know that there's people out there that love me. To death, and I wouldn't want to do that, regardless of how I felt. I mean, when when I came out here, I was, I was salty. I was depressed, but uh, none of that matters. Yeah, it it really sucks, man. Because there's so many people. Like we've all contemplated suicide. I feel like I feel like everybody's thought. Everybody has thought about it. Just because everybody has crappy days, man. There's always gonna be a day that you're like, God, I just. I don't even want to deal with this anymore. You tell people, kill me. Yeah. Or you know? shoot me. Yeah. I'll shoot myself. Yeah, you you say that, but really, it's not worth it. No. And the thing is, it's such a selfish such a selfish act because it's not you that's suffering after that. It's your loved ones, man. And, like, 
to take your life is just so unfair to everybody else. And, like and I know they feel that – sorry to interrupt, but I know they feel that like, you know, I don't even know. Some people feel that they had to do it because they were in a situation that they couldn't get out of or they were in debt or they were sad or whatever, and they justify it in their own heads, man. But at the end of the day, all their loved ones are – taking that, of course. you know, uh, horrible negativity in their lives and having to deal with it after that. So yeah, after you're dead, it, you're dead. Yeah, I mean, I, I've thought about that. Like, when I first moved out here, I was used to sunshine and beautiful weather almost every day. Yeah. Just having three seasons. I moved yeah. out to Kentucky. I have all four seasons. In uh, one I day. Have, yeah, <laughs> and all in one For day. For real, one day. So, how do you think I had to experience that and leaving all my friends and family? Yeah. Um, I consider Crappy. now that I don't have aunts, uncles, cousins, or anything. I don't even want to take nobody out back to California because family would do you so wrong. Yep. You get down to a point. I have felt that burn. My people. grandmother died, and people in my family treated my four, my, my dad, my mom, my sister, and mm. me like we were black sheep. Mm-hmm. And the family, and I, I really hope they watch this because I want them to know how I feel. Yeah, I never did anything to them. We never did anything to them, mm-hmm. and all we got was negativity after my grandmother died. We didn't even know when she died exactly. So, and you know, it, it people will mess you up regardless of where you go in life people it could be your blood it could be your best friend it can be a stranger a boss or co or whatever. whatever yeah literally but you got to know how to keep your head up and move on and know, know what react. you did you yeah. know what i'm saying if you know you did a good job in your life and you did that to that person or whoever who killed themselves or who died yeah. um don't ever feel bad don't take that as stress because people are going through worse, you know. That's how I think about it. Regardless of what I'm feeling, people, somebody out there is going through worse than what I am. Always, I gotta remind um, myself that a lot. Yeah, and and so it makes me keep going every day. Um, it makes me think of what I need to do better for me. Like, mm-hmm. if anybody knows what it is to chase a dream, like I'm out there trying to chase a dream. The ambition, bro. Like, baby. I'm trying you to. Know what I'm, saying? I'm trying. I see my name on a building. Mm-hmm. And that I can check up on my own business every other day. <laughs> For real, dude. But yeah. everybody love yourself, so we move to the next subject. For real. I mean, the last thing I pretty much got to say about that is, uh, you know, I'm in agreement with you. You know, you got to love yourself. And the thing is, with all these people, like I said, that are uh, experiencing mental health issues, you need to seek help, you know, in, in, in take, a sense. And, you know, take your medicine, too. Don't, don't yeah, think that your well, medicine trying to shake. That's my thing. You know, yeah. I, I'm going to be honest. I was one of those people before that, you know me. You've known me for years. I used to be that guy that was like, hey, forget medicine. Don't never take it. But I realized over the years as growing up and self-discovery as a human, some people need medicine. And it's sometimes just how it, just it goes. Needs to be a process. I mean, don't think that the first week it's going to work. No. You got to let it soak in. It takes you time. You know what I'm saying? It, it does time. take time and takes every day for you to t- continue to take it. And people have to realize that you got to take your medicine every day. Yeah. I I have a dad that deals with this stuff every day. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You can take medicine for it. You still f- feel the same thoughts, but you got to have a strong will. Yep. You got to be strong minded and say, I can get through this and get through it. Absolutely. And it it just really sucks, man, because, like, medication should be your last resort, in my opinion. I feel like it should be the last resort. You should try exercising. You should try eating better. Writing, drawing, something. Yeah, literally. Making music, writing, anything. It Literally. But I think medication should be the last resort, but it is the resort that some people need. It's just the truth, man. I mean, because I don't see myself ever taking pills, but I know there's some there's some thir- things that I do that make me my have have my outs. Yeah, like making music at the time when I was a teenager that helped me in some things. It's therapeutic. Um, drawing, doing things for people, uh, just just the little things, writing. It, yep. it helped me a lot. For real. But yeah, we'll wrap up on that. You know, like I said, just kind of ending it with just if, love seek everybody. Help. Seek out, seek out to catch on to other people because you don't know when you're gonna lose them. For real, reach out to your people, man. But uh, so uh, one thing I want to get on that we talked about is when do you think the elderly people should be made to take their driver's test again? What's your age of when, like, hey, look, 
get it together. We need you to retake this test. I think well, as soon as you hit 50 years old. Okay. Fair enough. I think I was going to give a little lead way and say 60, but 50 no, sounds no, right. I'm saying I'm about 50 because that's when you should start getting annual tests. Yeah. After that, you should get your eyes checked mm-hmm. at the driver's place. Uh, they should take For you real? on the highway. They should see how you do. Because the freeway ain't no joke. Yeah. Bro, it, people get side crazy. Side streets are different. Oh, you can yeah. know your town. You know that you can sure. go to a certain speed. You go to this, this, that Absolutely. Way. Whatever. Freeway's different, dude. But you go on that freeway. You go on that highway. Whatever you have to go on. You need to know how to look at everything. Use your signals. If you have to wear them black glasses that cover the whole side of your peripherals, you shouldn't drive. No. You should have no. somebody drive for you. Yes. And make, I'm make and out. I'm shouting out to all the grandkids that are out there that don't take care of their grandparents, that let their grandparents go out there with them thick eyeglasses. <laughs> You're like wrong. You, got your, like got you should be able Yeah, you should be able to take your grandparents out, take them to their doctor's appointments, grocery store, whatever they need to do. They ain't going no further no. than that. So they ain't taking trips to Egypt. Yeah, right, just to take them to the, the to the store and get it done over with. Instead of <clears> having <throat> them out there and not paying attention because that's what causes accidents. One hundred percent. I I get mad. I use my horn. My sister says I shouldn't use my horn. It's illegal. Technically, How? Why the, do uh, I have a horn if I can't use it they, well, in tec- the vehicle? By technicality, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to use your horn in emergency situations. And I do. When, I, <laughs> when I'm when i going to work, not <laughs> I'm going to work. Not, I don't care <laughs> if I'm going anywhere. If you don't turn like you're supposed to, if you don't use your signal, yeah. you're getting the horn. <laughs> I feel like that's what it's made for. When I got my driver's license, they yeah. said, what does your horn do? I honked it twice. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. They said that's what it's playing for. Okay. Yeah. So I'm surprised that my horn hasn't gave out. Yeah, for I'm real. I really am because I, I, I hunk on it. Boop. Get the <laughs> hell out my way. I'm not going to say that I don't use my horn, but it technically is illegal. <laughs> it really is. Like I, I said, I'm pretty sure. I almost on a cop. I, I actually, I use it on a cop. Yeah. Well, it like I said, turn signal. yeah, the whole thing about it is, is like, I feel like, I'm pretty sure that it's for emergencies only. Well, like, let's check if it something, out. yeah, I'll look it up. Let me yeah, see. Let's check it out before we yeah, say anything I'm, I'm further. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me see. Because I get road rage bad. I'm not gonna lie. I I've have, been trying to check myself on it. I it's have hard. mad road rage. I just don't understand why some people are allowed on the road. Like, I, yeah. I don't get it. That's why we should. After, I feel like it should be an annual thing. If you're 50 years old. Or if you have anything medical before you're 50, you should take an annual eye test um, on the highway. Um, check how many times, like, you just really forget things. I, I, I'm i not saying uh, anything against old people, but for real, that's the problem. It's not really saying. It's kind of just like explaining what a horn does. <laughs> like, we know what a horn does, but I want to oh, know so when it, you're allowed to use it. So our horn, <laughs> basically, everybody, is what your own mind says. It, it feels what your own mind does. Um, it's, uh, it's saying that um, uh, it's a violation unless it's uh, the sounding of a horn or other sound device to warn uh, of the approach of a motor vehicle. So I'm assuming that means like if somebody is about to hit somebody or somebody's not slowing down or something, then you can use your horn. Yeah, it's always, but I don't know. It, that's emergency. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't know. use it out of context. I don't just use it just to use it. <laughs> I don't. I don't have no special horn. I don't have. No, uh, ice cream. Yeah. No, I have none like that. I just have a regular beep beep, and if you take too long, I'm laying it on there. I'll I'll do that. It's not really saying much about the violation. Because the horn is made for your car. Everybody realize that's what it's made for. Use it. Do it good. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) But, like I said, I, I couldn't find what it is. I guess I'll have to do some more research on it. But, like I said, I'm guessing that it's for, like, emergency situations. Like I, if I mean, it is. If know, someone's not paying attention and backing yeah. up, that's usually an old person. Or changing lanes they, or yeah. whatever. Breathe. You use it. Don't sit there and cuss in your car. Yeah. They can't hear you. For real. So hunk your horn. That's I remember, uh, not to interrupt, but, like, I feel like I don't really get embarrassed that easy. 
But one of the things I get embarrassed about is if I mess up driving. It hasn't happened in a while, but like I remember specifically, I was that on yesterday. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was uh, I was driving, like pulling into Kroger parking lot right there by CVS, and like. I, I don't know what I, actually I was turning left. My bad. I was turning. I had my blinker on. I was where? doing right. Were you right there? Like okay, here's where I'm at. Here's CVS. I'm turning left on the 13th. All right. Okay. Now somebody was coming. I'm a new driver. This was like six months into me driving. Okay. And I didn't yield. I just pulled on out. I was like, oh, I got this. The dude, like, he was like, he like, he like, he like signed to me like. Stop! Pretty much, like I'm supposed to go, but I couldn't hear anything he was saying. He was just so mad. Because he signed. I was, did you hear the? He was context? like, he says sign. He was well. That's what he did. He pretty much like hand gestured yeah, what he what I was supposed to do, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed right he now. He would have realized if up. he honked the horn. If the other dude honked the horn, he didn't horn, do that. He didn't do he it. He would have caught on like, oh, I, I just sped up. up. Whoop! I was just gone. I was like, hey, <laughs> sorry, hey, sorry, pal. But I don't really get embarrassed. But that's one. That's one. I, if Everybody I mess has up, a if thing. I mess up driving, I, I feel embarrassed. I'm like, dang. Oh, me I, too. I'm I'm always the guy who's complaining about the guy do who's you, messing do up. Do you want to hear the most embarrassing thing that I ever done Let's hear driving? It. Well, I was impatient. I'm driving to my girlfriend's uh, at the time my girlfriend's mom house mm-hmm. in Grayson. Well. I'm wondering why everybody on 13th Street is just on one side. They yeah. going slow. We can't get through those lights. Yeah. I go around. Yeah. I get to the tippy top, realize that it's a funeral <laughs> line. Jesus. <laughs> I felt like felt horrible. the biggest prick in the world. Oh, that sucks, dude. And all I That's can do worst. is just wave and keep going because uh, I was just following the car in front of me. Oh, they got God. frustrated just as much as me. I seen them pull over to the side on the right le- and left lane. I said, oh, I'm going to do it too. Oh, God. That's, I wonder that's what is going on. And then I see all the lights yeah. going through all the cars. I'm, I'm like, oh, oh, man. Oh, God. I'd say the most embarrassing thing that I did was I was pulling off of Blackburn, going on to like, like the other part of Blackburn, you know, when yeah. it like switches a little bit. And there was a bus. <laughs> And I didn't realize, I didn't realize, dude. And people were like, had their phones out taking pictures of me. Like, you go to jail for that, Taylor. Oh, they yeah. have the, they the were stop mad. signs out. Dude, dude I, I didn't stop even, sign. You gotta stop. Dude, I didn't even see the stop sign. I'm over here, and it was because I was on my phone. I'll be honest. I'll oh. take, look, hey, I take self accountability. That was my mistake. I, I shouldn't have been on my phone. It was my mess up. Right. And I was on my phone. I'm talking. I'm not paying attention. I, I go through the motions of the stop sign, and I'm pulling. And dude's like, I got a picture of you. And I was like, oh, my God. I already stand out enough. This dude just got a picture of me. Running the only white guy with good dreads bro, like, in Ashland. Dude, this guy is crazy over here. Like, he just like he just took a picture. The next guy's, like, flipping me off. He's, like, mad. Everybody's yelling, You're honking their horns. you stop when the stop sign dude. is out on the bus stop. Oh, dude. <laughs> I literally sped up so fast because I felt so bad. I was well, that's like, that's what I, I did with I, the funeral home. I felt so bad. I just could oh, I had to just drive past. The I was already. In front com- of I was already committed. I was already like already well, about to I'm turn saying. around. It was like boom, just. But go. that's I what I'm saying. Care. Like I was already committed of already switching lanes. Oh, and when I looked over so to my right hand side, I'm so realizing bad. like. That's why everybody's behind them. Because Literally, it's a yes, line. dude. I felt so bad. I really did. I was like, somebody died. I just over here trying For to rush real. to the grave. And as soon as I heard the guy say, "I got a picture of you," I just put my head down. I'm hiding. Too late. Too late. They already got the picture. Trying to hide myself. Dude's trying to get a picture of my plates. Like he's just all over the place. You at wish this you point. had like the Men in Black thing where you dude, just- yeah, Ping. just hit him with the laser. <laughs> But dude, I felt so bad. That was one of my, my one of my dark moments of embarrassing that's driving dark. stories, no, dude. No, that's I felt dark. Bad. I think what I just said about the funeral home that was dark because I was a straight. I don't know which one's worse. Asshole. Bro, I was real. a straight like, asshole I really about know that. What's going on? Um, I I I asked God for forgiveness on yeah, that one for real. <laughs> Anyway, I felt really let's, bad. Let's go really to that uh, one topic about Xbox and PlayStation. Oh, yeah. So, and you guys can play along with this in the comments. If you guys Please had do. to choose between PlayStation and Xbox, Xbox, which one is it going to be and why? Uh, I'll let you go ahead and kick it off. What do you think? Why, which one are you going to choose and why would you choose it? Is it for nostalgic reasons? Is because what you started on? There's a lot of different things. Yeah. Like I said, I have multiple views on it. Um, 
I started off with the Nintendo 64, you know, small things. I'm a small person, so I would go, if I was to choose right now, a PlayStation. But knowing the history of what I grew up doing was more of Xbox. Yeah. So I'm used to the Xbox playing Halo, stuff like that, you know. But when it comes down, I'm not a gamer. I'm not a big gamer, so I couldn't really answer that question in I a go way. through waves, man. Like, because I, I love just something that's going to entertain me yeah. in a way. And, you know, sure, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not really looking for the competition of Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah. But if I had to choose, because this is a debate about it, and it is not about no sweet talk, um, sure. if I had to choose... Nowadays, if it it's going to be PlayStation Good for the call. new for the new age because of the fact they got the new games of Spider Man. Spider Man was dope. That's I tight. It was real good. I played that when I was younger. The first Spider Man on PlayStation. And two. Yeah, PlayStation Two were great. Yeah, and so I played that on there, and I've always liked PlayStation. I mean, I've like I said, I've I've fondled with Xbox. Yeah. But the controllers for me, since I'm small, are so big. Yeah. I'd rather deal with a PlayStation. So. My Fair enough. PlayStation. <clears throat> My thing is, it's really tough for me because I started out on PlayStation, but now I have both consoles. And honestly, I feel like I like the controllers of Xbox better, but I like PlayStations better simply because, like you said, the games that are available for PlayStation. You yeah, got it's God different. of War. You got Spider-Man. I mean, those two alone yeah. hold a candle to Halo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because, Halo's uh, the only thing you can really like, say about Xbox. On Xbox, it's really just... <laughs> What you got? Madden, Assassin's Creed. Uh, well, you get them both. You, you get uh, those games are on both. Yeah, but like, what what's strictly on Xbox? Like I said, Halo. Uh, God, let me look it up. What do you got? There's a couple few that are actually pretty dope. Like The Last of Us. Like uh, that. I think that was strictly Xbox. It was pretty cool. Xbox. What about Red Dead? Red, Red Dead Redemption. Redemption.